All right, guys, welcome back to another random videos. And in this video, we have a fake cop that pulls over a real cop. Basically, a security guard tries to be a popo and gets, and that's a no no. So, yeah, let's just get into the video. Let's do it. Feels better down here. Ah. Uh, November, Bravo, 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 two nine, NDB, V two nine. Dark it? Yeah, that's really all it was. I was trying to make sure he didn't hurt himself. He flew past me and, 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 and danced a little bit. So I, I flashed him and I went on my horn. I said, hey, he was slow dancing? down. Take, take it easy out here. And I passed him. And then I seen like he was trying to follow me. So I made the U-turn. That's all it was. I didn't try to stop him. I was trying to pull him over. I just thought he was drunk. And I didn't want him to hurt himself. Price and uh, security guy. Yeah, you know, this hour of the night and someone's flying past you and they dance a little bit. I just wanted to make sure, hey man, hey, you take it easy. I see buddy. somebody dancing. Don't hurt yourself out here. <laughs> like that. But I wasn't, I didn't come out the car. I didn't do anything. I pulled up next to him and I spoke on the horn. I said, hey man, take it easy. You're going to hurt yourself well, out here. He was driving what? Pretty, pretty fast. He flew past me and the car danced a little bit, so I thought he was either intoxicated or, you know, something. So I just said, hey, you know, slow down. And then I passed him. I never got out the vehicle, never, none of that. I just wanted to tell him, hey, you're going to, don't, don't make sense killing yourself trying to get home. We're all going to get home. Okay. Where, where were you guys coming from? Oh, I just got off duty. I'm going home. I live right off of Jericho. Off duty where? Beg pardon? Where, where Over you and went to park. I just came from the Wawa. See, Wawa. I, the Wawa. I went and got a drink at the Wawa. Okay. The were, you, were you putting your siren on or? I flashed them. With I always hear about the Wawa uh, in all these videos. Um, I don't. I don't even know what the hell that is. Is it something like a restaurant? Is it like a? Um, is it like a Speedway, a Circle K? Uh, maybe you all can tell me in the comments below uh, what the hell a Wawa is. Kind of sounds like a, a damn cell phone. Like, you remember Huawei? <laughs> and they had the cell phone, is cell phone issues uh, back then? Yeah. I don't know. Has to be some kind of, like, he said he wanted you to get a drink. It has to be some kind of, like, either a restaurant or a uh, quick mart. You know what I mean? What lights? Oh, I have, I, I have uh, my, my take down. I have, I have those lights here. And then... Then I hit my horn. That, so, hey, slow, and then I, I, I put ah, the, I took the, radio, the said, famous hey, horn. The police horn. And then he followed me, so I, I made a U-turn because I was like, oh, maybe the guy, maybe now he's. Do you have a siren on here at all? No, I did my horn. Right, but do you have any red and blues on here? No, 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 no. I, no, I can show you my lights. You want to see that dude looks like he has all blues back here on that cop car. Can't tell. It's so damn bright. Price is down here. Uh, so Price is saying that this guy was going behind him at 25. This guy's saying that Price was there. Uh, he was driving like a wild guy. Um, he, was, he thought he was. He thought Price was drunk. So he tried to pull him under. He tried to sit there and flash his like white lights on. Like, hey, chill out. Stop. Hey, what's up, man? Going on. Where What's you up? At? I work over in Winter Park at Central Place. Uh -huh. I went to the Wawa, and while I'm coming, going home, the gentleman flew past me, and his car danced. So I thought he might have been intoxicated. I didn't want him to hurt himself. So I blew my horn, and I flashed the light, and I put my speaker up, and I pulled next to him and said, hey, slow down. You're going to hurt yourself. 
and then I kept on driving, and he looked like he was gonna follow. He started following me, so I made a U-turn. I think he may got in road rage or something. I'm like, I don't want to get into any altercation. I just didn't want to hurt himself. I made the U-turn, and then he kept on following me. So I came here to make another U-turn, mm -hmm. and then when I seen him, he was behind me. I said, Well, maybe something is wrong, because he he kept following me. I said, Well, maybe something's wrong. Let me get out and find out. I said, hey, when I got out, he said, oh, stay, stay in your vehicle. So I said, well, I don't know what the heck is going on at this point. I just didn't want him to get into an accident because, you know, it was doing pretty you know, pretty fast and the car kind of did a little fishtail for him. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want him to get hurt. That's all it was. Are you, are you retired or anything? Retired? Yeah. Well, I'm past military. No, are you retired law enforcement or anything? Good. Not in the U.S. Not in the U.S. So you've never been to uh, like a DUI school or anything like that to recognize patterns of impairment? No, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. And see, this is what I'm going to call BS on. Because um, you do know they have those signs all around that says call 1-800-GRAB-DUI, especially here in Ohio, uh, that a regular citizen can call if they think someone is impaired um, DUI. So what this cop is about to say, how do you know? Are you trained professionally to be uh, tell someone's drinking and driving? You know what I mean? Like this cop is just trying to split hairs here. So, yeah. I just, just from, traditionally going home, I just didn't want him to get hurt. It's, I was a concerned citizen at this point. So. That's the case no one would call about DUIs. Well, I never I mean, got the, out the issue, vehicle. issue we have here is you're dressed as law enforcement. You're in a vehicle that's outfitted, outfitted as law enforcement. So therefore, somebody's going to mistake you as law enforcement when you're not but law enforcement. But I never got out the vehicle. Okay, but usually when a concerned citizen sees mm -hmm. somebody that they believe to be impaired, mm -hmm. they call us. But I was they on, don't I was flash actually, lights. I was on the phone at the same time. So what, what lights did you flash? I have my takedowns. So you flashed your takedowns? Yeah. Out. Okay. What, what do your takedowns entail? The fuck? They're gonna take you down, brother. Hey, so what? What was he flashing you with? White lights. Like steady strobe? No. They strobe. strobing. The, the front, yeah, on the front of the car. Okay. The whole front of the car lights up with strobes. Yeah. So, and like I said, he was just right on my ass, and then he was hitting the siren, which I could hear because I had the top down, and he was like going through the different siren tones, and I'm like, so I slow down, and I'm like, then he gets next to me, and he goes, you need to slow the fuck down, and I was like. Are you pulling me over? And he's like, you need to slow down. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to pull over. And then I called 911. I was like, yo, this isn't cool. So. All right. Did he have all his lights on? Yeah, all of them. Nice ride. Front and everything. And then he had a siren on too. And I could hear it because I had the top down. It's like, wee, 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 wee. And he's like changing between the siren tones. And he's like right on my ass. And I'm like, is this guy trying to pull me over? Because he has white lights. And then I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. And then he goes, um, pulls up next to me with his window down, his lights still on. He goes, you need to slow the fuck down when you're passing me. And I'm like, are you pulling me over? And he goes, you just need to slow down right now. And I'm like, so I stopped. And I'm like, okay. Like, are you trying to pull me over? So then I just called 911. I'm like, hey. You know it's false LEO because he's doing traffic stops with all this COVID thing going on. So I'm going to get the memo. I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, right about that. And I'm like, I'm like, I know that's not. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? Where are your security at? I work over in Winter Park at Central Place. Uh -huh. I went to the Wawa, and while I'm coming, going home, the gentleman flew past me, and his car danced. So I thought he might have been intoxicated. I didn't want him to hurt himself. So I blew my horn, and I flashed the light, and I put my speaker up, and I pulled next to him and said, hey, slow down. You're going to hurt yourself. And then I kept on driving, and he looked like he was going to follow. He started following me, so I made a U-turn. I think he may have got in road rage or something. I'm like, I don't want to get into any altercation. I just didn't want to hurt himself. So I made the U-turn, and then he kept on following me. So I came here to make another U-turn, mm -hmm. and then another U-turn. He was behind me. I said, Well, maybe something is wrong, because he he kept following me. I said, Well, maybe something's wrong. Let me get out and find out. I said, hey, When I got out. He said, oh, stay, stay in your vehicle. So I said, well, I don't know what the heck is going on at this point. I just didn't want him to get into an accident because, you know, it was doing pretty, you know, pretty fast. And he all right, dude, we already heard all this.
Four. We get it. I just didn't want to get hurt. That's all. Are you are you retired or anything? Retired? Yeah. Well, I'm past military. No, are you retired law enforcement or anything? Good. Not in the U.S. Not in the U.S. So you've never been to uh, uh, a DUI school or anything like that to recognize patterns of impairment? No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go to no DUI school. I just traditionally going home. I just didn't want him to get hurt. I was a concerned citizen at this point. That's all it was. I never got out the vehicle. The issue we have here is you're dressed as law enforcement. You're in a vehicle that's outfitted, outfitted as law enforcement. So therefore, somebody's going to mistake you as law enforcement when you're not but law enforcement. I never got out the vehicle. Okay, but usually when a concerned citizen sees mm -hmm. somebody that they believe to be impaired, mm -hmm. they call us. But I was they don't on, I was flash actually, lights. I was on the phone at the same time. So what, what lights did you flash? I have my takedowns. So you flashed your takedowns? Yeah. Out. Okay. What, what do your takedowns entail? The fuck? We just went through all this, brother. They're trying to milk this or what? Hey, so what, what was he flashing you with? White lights. Like steady? Strobe. No. They strobe. Were strobing? The, the front, yeah, on the front of the car. Okay. The whole front of the car lights up with strobes. Yeah. So, and like I said, he was just right on my ass, and then he was hitting the siren, which I could hear because I had the top down, and he was like going through the different siren tones, and I'm like, so I slow down, and I'm like, then he gets next to me, and he goes, you need to slow the fuck down. And I was like... Are you pulling me over? And he's like, you need to slow down. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to pull over. And then I called 911. I was like, yo, this isn't cool. So. All right. Did he get on the, he said he got on the PA. Did he get on the PA? Maybe he was on the PA, but he was next to me when he was doing it. So, I mean, to me, that's telling me to slow down and pull over. Yeah. Where was this at, Price? Right about here. Okay. Hey, but you got your ID? Yeah. Well, Do you have any firearms in the vehicle? Yeah, I have. I mean, I, I work with a firearm. Where's your firearm at? It's on my side. All right. You want me to step out? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just step out. Just don't touch it, all right? Mm -hmm. It's got a signal zero, so we're just going to pull them out. Don't touch it. Damn, dog, he can barely get out. Right back here. <laughs> what does that say? Criminal, criminal, something. Damn, dog, get a shot of his front. You have your, uh, Task force? Your yeah, you got what the hell? Yeah, and as I said, I was, he was just going fast, and his car danced a little bit. I mean, he flew past me, so I was like, oh, shoot, something. He's going to get himself hurt out here. So I pulled up next to him. Hey, just just for our safety, I'm just going to have you put your hands up there, and I'm just going to remove your firearm before oh, you put it in the car, all right? Okay. Just put your hands on top. We're done for. See, that's one thing that bugs me. A cop should never be able to remove your firearm from you. I don't give a shit. If it makes him feel uncomfortable or not. You know what? You took the job uh, to be a police officer. Who cares if you feel uncomfortable? A person should be allowed just to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Because they're actually at this point, he's getting disarmed by the police officer. Uh, really, they don't even know what's going on yet. You know? And the other guy back there who's driving the convertible is a police officer. So who do you think the cops are going to side with? This guy here or the police officer? I haven't even seen this video, and I'm going to guess they're going to side with the police officer. Duh. You got your ID? You got your Florida driver's license? Yeah, I, got, I can't find it. I think I forgot it at the house. Casper 207. On the other bed. 265, name it Edward.
Put them on again. Got red lights on the back. Hmm? Got red lights on the back. Yeah. Like he's gonna block him for you? Where was this at, Bryce? Okay. Why am I not surprised? I, I'm sorry, but I know uh, I hate when when uh, people who put up videos uh, repeat the same video over and over, but they use a different vantage point. There's no sense in doing that. We already heard all this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know. You know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, I feel like when they do that, they try to milk it to be a longer video. So, yeah. Stop milking it, brah. Probably a brake light. Could be. It says police interceptor right here. Who cares? It's a brand. What's bugging me is the front of his uh, vest thing. It says, Criminal Task Force. Yeah. It could be the name of the business, though. I don't know. September 2nd? Yeah, and I, I, like I said, I didn't try to stop him or anything like that. I just thought. Right, what I'm lost on is though you have a police interceptor on the back, mm -hmm. right there. You have red lights on your vehicle. Yeah, well, that's that's what we're allowed to have. Okay, but you're flashing lights. You have a, I mean, you're dressed. You got, you fit. But I never they came outside. I never even well, came outside. You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. Don't say you didn't get out of the car. Say, I never said I was a cop. So you got to say, I didn't say I was a cop. This cause this moron thinks that I think that I'm a cop. Can he read my mind? That's what you say. And then I, I got on the phone, but he was going so fast. I was like, I, I, I need to get on the, I need to get on the horn. So I just got on the horn and said, Hey man, just you know, take it easy. What's up? <clears throat> but I said I never got out. I was just concerned that he would have hurt himself. Jimmy Catherine. And another thing that bugs me is why security places have badges. Just you could have like the name of the security company on a patch, but not a badge badge. Come on, you really don't need all that. Like, you know, Metro State. Taking, you're taking lawful action to sit there and try to stop the vehicle. But I didn't want to stop him. I didn't try to, to stop him. To let him know, to notify him, to yeah, do whatever okay. you're trying to do. Well, I didn't know that. I thought. I call BS a concern, on that. Taking, this is a concern for somebody. Right, safety. but if you were a concerned citizen, mm -hmm. you should call the police. You're not well, supposed I, to take well, your, your security. I got on the, got on the phone. But again, you're, you're not supposed to take security action on. If I'm a concerned citizen and I did the same thing this guy did, but I didn't have any anything on. They're not going to think I'm trying to pretend to be a police officer. I guarantee it. Uh, yeah, they're they're just trying to stretch it a little bit. The police here are trying to stretch it. That's all they're trying to do, to try to get charges. On the road. That's where you're wrong. So, I was like, if you get something going, side? I will be there. Five side? Uh, no, he's over He's over here in East Altamont. <coughs> so I'm like, yeah, man, if you, he's like, I've never been told not to be there. So I was like, if you start something, I will be I'm Crazy. going to call the East region because I'm dying to get into something, mm -hmm. so. So what? Uh, 
you the, uh... Go ahead, sir. Uh, negative contact. Keep on getting the officer's list, though. 10-26, thank you, guys. Would you have something cool going on? I had a guy with a rucksack that was walking down, but I had a 13 Victor with five in it that I stepped out with, yeah. and then I lost the guy down. These police, man, using all kinds of code words and stuff. Just talk normal, people. He actually... trying this up, because his boss is the same guy that works for Rachel's. Okay. That does the, uh, the part of the crew. It's only two or three yeah. guys. Oh, and they always have these kind of contacts, right. too. So remember the all-blacked-out vehicle yes. that has these lights? Yeah, same company. Same company, right. and his boss is that guy. Oh, and the guy that has a bunch of um, deal contacts for doing this. At Rachel's. Yeah. The security guy at right. Rachel's. For so this is his employee that works in Winter Park. And he does have good lights on the back of that vehicle. He does? Yeah. And he says, oh, all I did was use my uh, front no. mirror lights. No, he didn't. The visor mirror. lights lit up and the front push bar was flashed as well. They're, um, they're actually white? Wayland lights, I can tell. Yeah. Oh, boy, we'll talk to you later on, I guess. Me? It's up to you. Yeah. Thanks. Is there any chance I could talk to the guy? Like, Maybe. Once they're done with their job. Yeah, yeah, like the... yeah we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, you can see they're all being buddy buddy. They're all being buddy buddy with the cop guy. I told you, that's how it's gonna work out. Since this dude's a cop, they're all gonna be on his side, and they're just trying their best to get any charges against that other guy, that uh, the black dude. They're trying. They're just. That's why they're spending so much time there. They're trying to figure out, dude, what can we get him with, man? Let's call some people. Let's see if we can get him with this and that. Yeah, kind of shady stuff that police do. They really do do shady stuff, man. OPD's the way to go. It's the OPD mentality too. Such a dick now. I knew I knew one of these guys were gonna try it one day. Do what? So I knew one of these guys were gonna try it one day. That's what you're talking? Yeah, it's my sergeant. Who? Where at? Just went that way? 201. He left? Was that even saying hi? Yeah, he yeah. just drove by, kinda looked yeah. at us and then went around, drove again. Yeah, they're, they're all buddy buddy, buddy with this cop. Yeah, that's cool. This is what you get when you play stupid games, right? I mean this is I well, I thought it was the. I thought this guy was gonna be like the. The do it guy, do it, do it. No, because we're looking. Zero one. I'll send you one to the twenty two. Oh, we're uh, looking for a uh, Impala that has a uh, spotlight on it, and he's pulling people over on Seminola. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, really? So yeah. that's who you thought this was. I was like, oh, sweet. New Impala or older? Older. Yeah, my dispatcher sent me this. Uh, uh, on this truck. Mm -hmm. Now they're talking hey. about Jeremy DeWitt's company. Nothing that I know of. Nothing that you know of. Yeah. You, you don't know it's suspended since 2017? My license? Yeah. It's been suspended since 2017. Uh, no, I just got the renewal letter. No, I didn't know it was suspended. That for a failure to pay. You weren't aware of that? I failed to pay what it, uh... Traffic citation. No, I wasn't aware of it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Jeez, here they go. See? They're getting this guy for everything. All right. You look over the statue? Yeah, Graffy's checking him out. Do you remember the security guy? No, that's why I'm learning a lot. Yeah, this is... We'll probably find out that he didn't pay his library, uh... Hey, so did he hit a siren or anything? Fees. And arrest him for yeah, that. He hit, he hit a siren and cycled through two different tones. What was the tones? Like wee typical wee music. Yeah, the, the high-low. Was it the beep, 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 beep? The high-low and the pierce, I think, is what it's called. I don't know what that is. Like, wee wee Because I stopped with him, and I have FHP and Castleberry PD and someone kind of sheriff out here. This guy's probably going to jail. Especially no license. They can just take you to jail for that. Eh. So, this guy dressed as Elio. I mean, like our class B. He's almost exactly like, looks like Elio. He was signal zero, had a gun and holster, has a taser. Okay. His uh, explorer's outfitted just like Elio. Okay. He has lights, siren, the workup. Mm -hmm. Price said he was driving, this guy got behind him. Tag? Yeah. Price said he was just driving, this guy got behind him, lifted his lights on, strobing him. Okay. Hit the, hit the tone, cycle between two different tones, then got on the PA and told him, slow down, slow down. Okay. So he's suspended. Um, he does have a valid CCW. 
Yeah, but not for open carry. It was open carry like us. He, yeah, he had it in his holster. That's I take it. Uh, the thing with impersonating Leo. He has to take some type of enforcement action, bumping lights and the siren. That's taking action, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we'll take him because of what's happening. We can file on it, but yeah, that's impersonating Leo, if you ask me, mm -hmm. all day. Um, I mean, we could. Lights? What? They were white. He had siren noises too. Yeah, he cycled between two different uh, sirens. So you got impersonating Leo. You've got improper display of the weapon. Like, is that what charge is that? It's uh, you can't just openly carry like that. Ten four. You can take a look at this is what bugs me. We have the right to bear arms. The Constitution trumps everything that these cops are talking about having the gun. When these states make up these laws and try to bypass the Constitution, that really bugs me. Bugs me, bugs me. You know what I'm saying? He's a security guard from somewhere, he's saying. No, it's, you should care less whether it's people are speeding. He's a security guard. He has no yeah. authority. Uh, let me pull up the jury instructions real quick, but that's where I'm at. He's impersonating Leo. Yeah. Same thing. Let me find out more, though, before we definitely say 50. All right. Let's look at the statute. He, he says he put a siren on. So. He had flashing lights on a siren. He's wearing the badge. He looks like he belongs on our phone, too. He says Criminal Task Force. That's the name of the company. And they were also work. They do. Um, I'm familiar with the company and they because they, they work the security detail at Rachel's up here. And he, except there, except his boss. Is the one that works at Rachel's, and he's got an all-black vehicle with the same stuff. I'm like, I wonder. We've always been sitting here wondering. I wonder if he's got blue lights. I wonder if he's got red lights on it. Never would show us. Never, and he does have red lights on here. Just he went up put all the lights on for us. You know. So. Well, we do a thorough inventory prior to yeah. prior to tell, you can find out. So how did you find him? Same way I found that bar fight on the green bar. I just pulled up on. Him. Was he, did he have his lights on? So he fly you down? He, I thought it was a crash. He flies down. He's like, I'm off duty OPD. This is bad his ID out. He's like, oh, that car just tried to pull me over. I'm like, how do you know he's not a cop? He's like, he's got white lights. He's got no blue lights of any kind. And he's, yeah. so sure right, enough. I'll catch you later. Bye. 10 as you see right here, I go up and oh, I'm just trying to make sure that, I thought he was drunk. I'm just trying to get him to slow down. I'm just like, yeah. You know, I'm like, what do you work for? And he'll tell you, he won't say, he won't say, I'm a cop. He'll tell you, I work for so and so task force interdiction unit, whatever. You still got your taser on you? Yeah, right, I'm just going to put it in the vehicle too. Uh -huh. Sometimes they get rowdy, so we have the pepper ball for crowd control. So you guys are just a private security? Yeah, yeah. Or? Yeah, we do. Well, we, we're in the process of contracting with the uh, city of Eatonville mm -hmm. to do transportation. Mm -hmm. um, I know right now they use county to do transportation, but they're also thinking about letting others do it for them as well. So who, the vehicle belonged to the company? Yes, yeah, the company's vehicle. Huh? Yeah, a lot of times um, people always think that um, like the Jeremy DeWitt stuff, uh, how can I say this? Um, where he said that this other cop was trying to get rid of his business so he could start up his own business. And this is uh, mostly true because that other guy was trying, the other police officer who was always on his ass was trying to start up his own business doing this. So he knew uh, if he got rid of Jeremy DeWitt's company, he could actually 
it's been proven that the guy wanted to ha- fire up his own funeral escort company, the cop guy. I forgot his name. Uh, uh, started with the V, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so, yeah, there's like a lot of places. Like one of these cops were just talking earlier about uh, starting up a business. So it's, I, see, I feel like these, these cops do this on purpose to try to get the other businesses put out of business so they can fire up their own business and, and hire all their, you know what I mean, off-duty cop friends and all that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of shady. Dude. Like, most of these cops are shady. I'm sorry. They're all shady. They, re- they really are. I'm surprised. They, I'm surprised. Uh, I would, it would not surprise me if I found out that half these cops take money or something from, you know what I mean, people. I mean, I know. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Cops are so corrupt in this country. They're almost like Russia. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, so, yeah, he's looking it up. I mean, regardless, he's suspended for three years. But, I mean, he's open carry. He's carrying it on his head. He's open carry. Carry what? Huh? Carry what? He, he was open carrying on his hip like we do. Who cares? He took enforcement action. We're allowed to carry guns. But Jesus. Stop whispering like little punks. These cops are just aggravating the crap on me, man. They really are. He told me prior when I first talked to him that he cycled between his two sides. But that was prior to Miranda. So if you Miranda, See what they said? They want to Mirandize him and then ask him the same questions over and have him repeat what he said so they can get him for it. Yeah, shady pieces of crap. What do you think, detective? Instructions aren't Worthless cops. No, but he took action based off of hitting the lights, the siren, and the PA. Or... It's, a, it's a shame he wasn't getting him to pull over. That would have made it more cut and dry. Yeah. He was just saying pull over. Just See, saying it's a shame that they didn't tell him to pull over. Yeah. I think we can file on this. Probably. And he never got out and like presented himself. Or no badge. As uh, you know, he just threw his vehicle's actions. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you certainly can still file it. Yeah, we'll file it. Did you look up the task force at Longwood? It's just fucking yeah. armed security. So a little sweet. Yeah. I'm trying to find old cafe cases. Who's taking the report? Yeah, I mean, the jury instructions fit. He uh, took some type of law enforcement action. He used lights, he used the PA. He was, ins- you know, mm-hmm. commanding him to slow down under those actions, which is what law enforcement officers do sometimes. He didn't get out and physically stop him. Like Graffy was saying, that would have made the... So, if I'm in Florida and somebody does some, some crazy stuff and I yell at him, hey, slow down. They're going to put me in jail for pretending to be a police officer. Yeah, this is bullshit. Stronger case, but this is something we can file on based on what's happening. COVID. So what? Uh, invalid EO and questioning law enforcement officer? Yeah. Oh, is he suspended? Yeah. Is he knowingly? No. Uh, he yeah. said he's not. He said he doesn't know. He yeah. said he's been suspended for three years. He doesn't have his license on him. I think if you're going to file, you might as well file that too. We can't issue court dates right now, you know what I mean? For like well, it's assaults. unknowing, just give them the citation. I mean, you think if you have a system license for three years and you're not carrying it on you right now, I could probably find somewhere in here where someone's. Are you that concerned it. about a, a ticket? Not a ticket, but in fact, it's an extra charge. You could take him for no valid DL. I mean, if you wanted to. It's an extra charge for him. Suppose the it's SAO doesn't like him. False impersonation of law enforcement, they just drop it. And he okay. gets no punishment. It's a drop charge. Well, if that's the case, no we could take him right DL, now. He actually gets charged. If that's the case, if you're worried about that, we could take him right now. But, but are we doing that's full not, custody for no valid DL? That's, 
and we're not issuing criminal citations, so it pretty much know. the whole case is going to be filed. I'm just saying, I just don't like that whole theory of, well, what if? But, you know, we have a, it's a solid case, I think. If they don't want to pick it up, that's on them. But uh, I think we should file it. So. These cops are the same people that scream, we're being unjustly uh, crucified in the media, blah, blah, blah. But here they are doing sneaky shit. You know what I'm saying? And you better believe probably more than half the cops in this whole country are like this. Uh, I've seen a lot of these videos. I've literally probably seen over 2,000 videos. Uh, and all these cops seem shady as hell, dude. Some of you might not agree with me, but you know what? It's my opinion. But yeah, shady, shady. So no valid DL impersonating. That's, that's it. Really yeah, it. that's it. Yeah. Because he's allowed to open carry to him. Yeah, the I thought about that afterwards and sent it. I said it doesn't fit. Yeah. So Chris, now he's on one. You want it? He's got like two, two assault rifles in the back. But he said they're pepper ball. All right. All right. Just get good photos. Do a good photos, good sequels. statement. Paper, rock, scissors. Whoever's taking the state, the uh, case. So, I mean, I'll take it. Okay. It yeah, me. it's a good case. Sir, are you okay? I'm traumatized. All right. What's up? How are you? Good. I good. thought you were gonna drive away without even saying hi. That's, That's like, awkward. It's not very nice. No, there's too many cops. Man. I know. You know I me. There was a lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. actually butt one less than. Um, I made the sure to put in there that I could see his flashing lights, yeah. his bumper, and his visor. He used sirens, multiple tones. He came over his PA system, and then he actually like basically got next to me and forced me off the road, which is when I stopped. Then I could and I could see when he had his window roll down that he had a tack vest on that had patches that resembled law enforcement. So he did I mean, get out of the vehicle. He did get out of the vehicle. And then I, I, yeah, I ordered him back in the vehicle, and then he got back in his car. Oh, so, so he was so trying to actually like pull you over. He pulled in front of me. When I yeah. pulled onto this median right here, he pulled in front of me and stopped and got out of his yeah. vehicle. And then I actually got out of my vehicle and I yelled at him back to get back in his vehicle right now. And when he got out, he looked like he had like a tack vest on. You put all that in? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm pretty tired, but. Look at them. They're all buddy buddy, man. This should be throwing, the case should be thrown out yeah, just over this. Yeah. So, I mean. We're filing things, unfortunately. That's fine. Yeah. No worries. I mean, I just, I know that. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's crazy. I was like, what are the chances? I was going, yeah, yeah right. it's a, a bad night for him. But I'm like, <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? And then when he came over with the siren and then with the PA, and I'm like, anyone Mirandize and talk to him? <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. All right. This dude should plead the fifth. This is neat. So you get Mirandized, don't talk to cops. Bad Never. Day for you, buddy. This stuff makes Yeah, I was like, you picked the wrong guy. I just actually oh, left crap. helping Matt Blunt to help. I was uh, helping him move. As a matter of fact, I got to send out a command page that can make the news. This? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they love that stuff. Security tries to pull over off duty. <laughs> right. Let me call. Uh, We're not gonna redact your information, so <laughs> I put up, everything all up in it. I put everything in Orlando's address, so I don't care. Uh, let me call uh, Captain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Find that alerts. <laughs> yeah, just now thought of that. Like this stuff hits the news. Like Florida. They, they usually do the Florida man stuff. Yeah. Well, you guys are filing on it, though, so probably not. It's going to hit my news as dickhead, corrupt cops. Hey, go ahead. I mean, the guy shouldn't have did what he did. But, uh, I mean, if he would did what he did without that crap on, there would have been not, no issue. So you work for something called it. Task Force, right? Correct. Right. What's your uh, boss's name? Dave Rimmer. Especially New York cops. New York cops are the worst, dude. They have the most history of corrupt cops there. Who murdered people, stole money, planted drugs. Dude, yeah. New York is probably the worst. Yeah, we worked at uh, Rachel's. They were in with the mob. No, I know exactly who you guys are. Oh, good. You guys also got a black one that looks just like this. Correct. Two hours in the back? So what? Yeah. And those are purple ball guns. Crowd control. everything yeah him included huh? him included yeah no yeah all right i'm gonna read your rights man because i have to read your rights during an investigation and as soon as he does plead the fifth 
before I can speak to you during my investigation. Doesn't mean you're under arrest. Doesn't mean I'm going to place you under arrest. All right. But you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before I ask you any questions and have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, won't be appointed to you before questioning if you wish. Be smart, brother. You decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present. You still have the right to stop answering questions at any time until you speak to a lawyer. You understand your rights? Mm -hmm. All right. So run me through what happened. Don't talk like, to how him. How did we end up here? Where are you coming from? Okay, I'm coming from Wawa. Okay. Dumbass. Prior to Wawa, were you leaving? I was at work. You were at work. So you were on your way home from work? Correct. All right, you stopped at Wawa. Correct. Okay, keep going. Run me after Wawa. I'm coming along Redbug. I'm going okay. home. I'm going this way. Okay. And um, I'm in the immediate... Far right through lane? Far right lane. Okay. And as I'm coming, I see the lights coming behind me. Okay. And I'm not paying any attention. And it's before it opens up to change lanes. People are so dumb. So he cuts across the, the I guess, the, the, the lines that okay. separates the lanes. Before yeah, the, the merge merging lanes. lanes. Okay. And he cuts across and then swings back in front of him. So he goes around you on the left side. Correct. He gets, and he comes, back comes over into your lane. Correct. Okay. And he swings back in front of me. Okay. And then the, the car does a little, you know, a little dance. So I'm like, oh man, I wonder if this guy's okay. Okay. So I well. take out my phone because I'm trying. I'm trying to. I got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide, make a phone call. Should I just get on the horn and tell him slow down? He, he starts going, you know, kind of fast. Mm. So I said, all right, let me just see if I could catch up with him and tell him on the horn, hey, man. How, how fast okay. do you think you guys were going? How fast he was going? Yeah. How fast did you have to go to catch up? How fast was he going? How, how fast did you have to go to catch up? Don't answer it. Because they want to lose. I probably had to. Because if you tell them you had to, if you tell them you're speeding, they're gonna get you for speeding. Also, they're just doing this to get you to incriminate yourself. Never talk to the cops. I don't give a crap. Never. Increase. Well, I don't know how much he was going, but I had to probably speed speed up about five miles an hour, probably, to okay. catch him. So you were going the speed limit prior? Yeah. So about 50, 55. Yeah, because this, yeah, this happened way, you know, right as, okay. as, as, as so coming you, in. You estimate about 50, 55. Not even that much because okay. I may have been doing 40, so okay. I probably had to get up to 45. Okay. But it wasn't like a, a big distance. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I flashed the lights and just got on the horn and said, hey, man, slow down a little bit. And that's you, it. And then just I, Your front headlights or your strobes? The, I did, well. Can, can you show no, me? Yeah. Well, well, well never mind because I, I got your, your firearms yeah. inside. Well, let yeah. me look. Let me look. Come, come point out which ones you flashed at him. Just these? I hit, I hit. These up here? I try to hit my takedowns. Okay, so the ones up here? Yeah. Okay. And, and I, and you know, he, he's, he's going, we, we're not even stopping. And I just pull up next to him and say, hey, slow down a little bit. And I keep on going. Okay. And then I see him flashing his lights. So I'm saying, oh, maybe there's something wrong. And why he was, you know, driving the way he was driving. Mm. So and I, I slow down a little bit to see what was going on. And he, you know, he's, he's following me. So I said, oh, maybe this is a road rage incident. So I make a U-turn. Where'd you guys make a U-turn at? Up uh, here? The next, the next. Uh, at the light up here? No, not even the light. There's another. Right before the yellow sign. Yeah. Okay. I make the U-turn because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to get into any road rage incidents. I'm just trying to get okay. the guy to slow down. So and he made the U-turn. You, you made the U-turn behind him. No. I passed him. Oh, you, you yeah, passed I him. passed him. And you made U-turn and he came behind you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I pulled next to him and I just turned the horn and said, slow down. And I passed him. Okay. And he pulls right behind me immediately, which I found was a little bit. So I get into the lane to just let him go. And he's coming behind me. So then I make the U-turn. Okay. And he's flicking his lights. So I'm like, oh, maybe there's something wrong, which would have given him the reason why he was speeding okay. or, you know, driving faster than usual okay so i come around and he's still flicking his lights in me so i, I when i pull in front here and he's behind me i come out and I, to ask him 
hey, there's something wrong. Okay. And he yells out at me, get back in the car. Okay. So I said, well, I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to get into anything. Okay. So then I pull out my so, phone. So, okay, to, mm -hmm. let me stop right there. So you think it's reasonable How and a safe okay. assumption you from here? You seven and that if, Bravo, if you pulled up beside him, told him to slow down, he got in behind you and he was flashing you that if he did need help, maybe he thought mistakes you for a law enforcement okay. officer, that he was trying to get help from a law enforcement officer? I mean... Uh, why, why would you think that he got here we go they're trying to get him to admit that he resembles law enforcement this is how they trick you dude god i hate i'm beginning more and more i watch these i begin to, to hate the police for real if he saw you and thought you were a law enforcement officer i, I mean i don't know you think maybe I, he was I seeking he, help or i i thought he was first i thought he was just changing from high beam to low beam. Mm -hmm. But he was kind of close behind me. Mm -hmm. So then I pulled, made the U-turn. Okay. And then I'm coming down this way. And then then he starts flashing. So at 30. that point in time, okay. I'm like, so he, he that's gets what out, I think. He gets out, tells you to get back in the car, then what? I go for my phone because I'm like, oh, this guy, maybe it's a, this guy is a road rage or something okay. like that. And... You know, when I get back in the phone, I get back in the phone, I'm seeing him, you know, I don't know, I'm like, he's on the, his phone, I'm like, I don't know if he's calling for his friends or something, mm -hmm. so then, instead of him being behind me, where I can't see him, I decide to pull here, so I can still see, you know, what he's doing. Okay, so you and guys then, initially stopped on that side? Correct. Yeah, okay, right there. and then you made the U-turn yeah, here? Yeah, and then I pulled here, and then I seen, I think it was the, the trooper's lights. Yes. It was the trooper's okay. lights. Okay, and that's it? That's yeah, perfect? Yeah, yeah. All right, so so by trade, you're a security guard, private security? Yeah, I work in the private security. Okay, you're not sworn LEO or anything like that? No, I'm not. Okay. All right, hang out for me. Okay, go back that way? Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Can you, um, can you pull an offense, get, get Price a uh, blue form, and yeah. have him do the uh, victim exemption? Yes, yeah, we'll do. Huh? Yeah. What was it, like a C I didn't know this is the guy from Rachel's that's impersonated Leo before. That's what Zach's saying. Yeah. He's impersonated Leo before. I don't think it's the same guy. No? He's got a beard. That's the only thing. Yeah, I don't think it's the same guy. Well, so everybody has a beard has impersonated people, guys. Not them. All right, let's it's not the same guy. All right, if it was um, the same guy, I'd say 10, 15, but... So, yeah, I read him Brando, in the past. and uh, he basically said that he was behind... Or he, they were coming off, off of uh, northbound 436, and uh, Price went around him and swerved over in his lane, and he was swerving, so he thought he was the UI. So he started flashing his lights and oh, all good. that stuff. Price slowed down, and he got on the PA. He was like, hey, you need to slow down, and he passed him. And he said Price got in behind him and started flashing his lights, and he didn't know what that was and I was like well you think well maybe when you pulled up beside him he saw you and maybe he was having a problem he thought you were an LEO he really didn't have an answer to it that's a good question let's say cop quit uh, using turn up here and then, uh, they want to sound like they're cool yeah well no he got he went he got in front of him and then uh they made you turn in price made you turn behind him and they stopped right here and he got out and price told him to get back in the car so okay but yeah, we'll file. But yeah I mean right. good interview I think it's pretty good and solid so you should have shut right. up um, not said anything of good yeah. pictures of the car yeah we got that um good. i mean what are we gonna do about the car he's suspended Se well, seven he's times gonna have, he's gonna have to figure that out on the road man it'd be a shame if he had to tow it yeah he's not gonna drive it so he needs to call somebody and that can come get it his boss or something yeah All right, man, a couple things. Mm -hmm. First, you're suspended for three years. Apparently, you got seven suspensions. Can't, what? You, you can't be driving, man. I'll just park so, the car. Well, I mean, we can't. I mean, this has got a lot of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. I don't want somebody getting into this car. Well, so when you pull it into the neighborhood right there and park it? Well, that'd be the worst place to park it. Well, I, live, inside of a neighborhood. I live like three lights down. I mean, it again, it's, it's on you what you want to do with this mm -hmm. vehicle. 
but I highly suggest against it. I would prefer mm -hmm. you call somebody at home that's got a license and y'all take this vehicle to the house. I could do that too. That's the first issue. All right. Second issue under Florida statute, this is textbook impersonating law enforcement officer. All right. I, I was not trying to listen. Mm -hmm. All right. I understand what you're saying. By the way this how, vehicle looks, by mm -hmm. the way you're dressed with the insignia. Well, this is the company's uniform. Okay, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But when you try to pull over a citizen, mm -hmm. you know, a citizen would mis mistake this all day for a law enforcement officer. But this looks exactly. I didn't exactly, get out. I didn't get out okay. or anything. Okay, but you still, on your way home from mm -hmm. work, you, you hit your strobes. According to him, you hit your siren. And you cycled through two different sirens. All right? That's, you can't do that. You're not allowed to impersonate or to, you know, pull, try to do your own traffic stop. Oh, okay. uh, a regular citizen mm -hmm. would call us immediately. We get these calls all the time mm -hmm. about a vehicle. I wouldn't call you. I would not call you. I'm a regular citizen. I would, I would pull, I would do the same thing this guy did. Like, dude, you got a problem? What's your problem? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, these police bother me. You why? And we come out, we get behind the vehicle, and because we've been to the schools, we can pick up cues mm -hmm. that would give us probable cause to pull that vehicle over. So before we can even hit our lights, mm -hmm. we have to have probable cause, and we're trained to detect probable cause and determine what probable cause is. You're not, mm -hmm. but you hit your strobes, and according to him, you hit a siren. All right, he thought you were LEO. So, I mean, who cares you're not, what he you're thought? Not be arrested, but there is going to be charges filed on you. All right, and they're going to go to the state attorney. And the state attorney is going to determine what they're going to do from there. All right. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you could be arrested on two, two separate things tonight. Okay. For one, driving while your license is invalid mm -hmm. and impersonating LEO. Okay. All right. I'm not going to arrest you, but you, there, we're going to you know, document the incident, and mm -hmm. we're going to send it up to the state attorney to let them determine. Okay. All right. So if you want to get on the phone, you got your phone with you? Is it in the car? No, I got, I got it here. Right, yeah, if you want to get on the phone, get somebody down here, we can get this you know, vehicle off the road and not parked in a neighborhood where it's going to get burglarized. I think I mean, that's the best course of action. Well, I mean, I, I'm a cop in Castleberry. This is the city of Castleberry, so I know we... try to burger like this? Hey, I'm telling you, man. What? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? I mean, this, is your, this vehicle is your responsibility, right? Well, this is a company, they got insurance. So like... But, I mean, it's your responsibility. When it's in the residential neighborhood and it gets burglarized, who's going to answer for it? They're going to say, why was, why was our vehicle parked over here in this residence? Why is all our guns missing could, out the back? Could I... Could, could I park and just walk home because I, I don't think i'll be able to get get anybody awake up this i'd have to actually get in the house well, and let me like, let me talk to my supervisor i mean technically we could we could tow it i don't want to yeah, no i don't want to tow it either that's why i'm trying to work no. with you see if we can get get it out of the roadway but let me talk but, to my supervisor but, see what if, he if thinks hey phil he's, one to he's gonna say no He's wanting to park it in the neighborhood. Man, he can't walk drive, around. though. He can't drive, though. Man, if he drives, yeah. we're going to have to arrest him. That is a shame. Him. And I don't want him parking that vehicle in the neighborhood. It's got assault rifles in there. I don't, want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel safe so. with any of us getting in the vehicle to drive so I'm not so. retarded. So. They keep saying it has assault rifles. He does not have assault rifles. He has pepper ball guns in there. These people who always call AR-15s assault rifles, it's not assault rifles. It stands for Armalite, whatever. It's the company name. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't stand for assault rifle. Listen to me. It doesn't stand for assault rifle. Get that through your democratic head. Do I initial there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then I meant do not. I don't want okay. to. Do not pull my information safe house. And you acknowledge now. So if you can have a friend to come get it, we might have to tow it. <laughs> All right. He could so, push it. Yeah, my my supervisor's on the same page I am, man. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we're not <laughs> legally allowed to get in there and drive the vehicle for you because if we damage it, we mm -hmm. get sued, all right? Mm -hmm. We cannot legally allow you to drive it because you're suspended. So, mm -hmm. we can get I sued call, that way, too. I call BS when they can't drive it. Uh, my One of my two videos ago where the girl's drinking and driving, and the cop parks her car for her. Remember that video? The cop parked her car. A little Miss uh, Country Club uh, worker uh, girl. Yeah. Same state, bro. Okay. All right. And we can't have you park it in the neighborhood because if it does get burglarized or something happens, we can get sued there too. Really? Yeah, because it, it, we're the ones, because of this incident mm -hmm. and 
we're not allowing you to leave with it. Mm -hmm. we're, if I was to direct you to leave it in the neighborhood, that's my direction. Oh, I wouldn't say so you're it, directing So me. I don't know, but mm -hmm. it, it, it could come back on us as a liability. Okay. So the options are, you know, call somebody down here with a license to drive mm -hmm. you home, or we have to tow it because it's in the roadway. Uh, so, it, I mean, it, it, all they got to do is have a valid license. I don't care who it is. It could be your mama. It could call be a friend, tow truck, dude. Brother, tow it home. I don't care who it is. Okay. Just somebody to come get in the vehicle with you in the passenger seat and drive you to the house. All right, so would they be, just, I'm just asking a question. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to, because she's going to come driving. Yeah. So can she park the other car in the neighborhood if, if she chooses uh, to? If, yeah, I okay. mean, right. yeah, if that's, if that's what she chooses to do. And, you, and Jesus. Y'all want to come back up These people. at another time? And there's a neighborhood right here. She park on the side of the road, you know, which I would advise. Mm -hmm. I'd rather her park over here in this one. Right. Um, and then drive you to the house, and then y'all walk up back up here together. How far down do you live? I live two lights down. Oh, okay. So you're not that far, yeah. No. I mean, yeah, Check that's that's an option. Oh, huh? yeah. yeah. You got good photos of everything? No, just all four sides, good photos of him, yeah. and then uh, front and back. But here, here's your CCW, and it's valid, just so you know. Thank you. Yeah, you got to get your license taken care of. Yeah, he said seven tickets? Yeah, according to him. You said it was seven, seven suspensions? Seven prior suspensions. Oh, priors. Seven but it, active. Active suspensions. Active, yes. Yeah, so which you, means you have seven mispaid tickets, potentially. Either that or tolls or oh, something. Oh, it, 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 it could be tolls, too. I what I seen is. was the latest one, which was... Uh, tolls is the biggest scam I've ever seen. I know what it is. But my it could ex. be tolls. It could be child support. It could be all kinds of things. I think it's my Financial responsibility. Car. She has a car with... And, and that could uh, be the problem. So, you, But you got to get those you know, taken care of before you start driving again. Biggest scam on mankind is tolls. Another big scam, uh, in my hometown, I worked in a different city, which is like 18 miles away, and they uh, did double city taxes on me, where I lived at and where I worked at. They were taking both out, which is bull crap, I think. Should not be allowed to take both of them out. The whole government is a big ass scam. A couple of wealthy people, powerful people, who get rich. Like, how do you how do you be the secretary um, of the United States and have two hundred million dollars? How's that even possible, Nancy Pelosi? It's cause you are you know what she's doing. She's getting insider information, trade information that if I got, I would be in prison. This whole world's a big giant scam. Patience, Achilles. Hello, hello, hello. Go wake your mom up for me. Good. You got somebody? Yeah. You got her? Oh, okay, there she is. Hello? Hey, I need you to come and pick me up off of Redbug. I'm Mark David. If you come down like you're going back to uh, 436, yeah, come, make sure you have your license on you. All right, and be, be dressed appropriately. <laughs> All right. Right. That's why I love it when I watch videos that cops get arrested. Over there. I love yeah, it. And then 
she can drive and we just yeah and then we can come back later for her car yeah she are you guys gonna walk no, you, no 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 you just gonna change well, the walk back down or i we got a i got a bike so, okay so i don't know if she could ride the bike or okay. we'll figure that out i mean we yeah, i mean it should be good now. here uh, i'll we keep an eye on it take it right now uh, like i said it'll be it'll be good here i'll keep an eye on it um but yeah um you gotta be careful you know dress like this driving that mm. you, i mean I as mean, much I, as you're tempted see, as see, much so, as you're tempted i understand no well see my, my my thought was you can't pull behind someone pull them over things of that nature no when you taking in any time we turn on our lights mm -hmm. we're effectively arresting somebody per statute oh, when we flip listen to this on, you're under arrest even though it's a traffic stop okay uh, you can't do that we have to all right so i'm under arrest if a cop gets behind me with the and pulls me over even if i didn't do anything i'm under arrest this, this, oh my god these place these cops man are really on a power trip ain't they before we can even turn our lights on we have to find probable cause we can't just you know flip a light on just because we want to pull a vehicle over right we have to have probable cause all right but once we flick those lights on we're apprehending that vehicle right S same scenario here but mm -hmm. you're not you don't have the, you don't have the authority Mm -hmm. to operate those lights while you're driving to and from work. At, once you get to work mm -hmm. and once you leave work, that's where yeah, your authority yeah, yeah. stops. Right. You know, you, right. you, can't, right. Right. you yeah. can't be getting on a PA. You can't be flipping lights, you know, anything like that. You just, I know you're probably trying to do the right thing mm -hmm. because you're worried, but a normal citizen would call, you know, dispatch and be like, hey, I'm behind this vehicle. This vehicle's all over the road. Can you send somebody out? At that time, we come out, and if we find a vehicle, mm -hmm. we cannot just go off the word that was given to us. Right. All right. We have to. Get oh, they do it all the time. Oh driving my driving God. And other cues that we have learned in training mm -hmm. before we can get probable cause to stop that vehicle. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I mean. How many times have I played videos on this channel where the cops come out and put someone in cuffs because they don't want to talk to the p police, but they said they got a phone call about something happening? Uh, yeah. He that straight up lied right there. The state attorney will be in contact with you. You know, just talk, cooperate with them, see what they no, want to no, do, I, I have no and problem. all that stuff. Yeah, and then get your license t taken care no of. You know, we got a DMV right up here yeah. off of uh, Wilshire. Yeah, well, I mean, I know. I just I didn't know. I, I know. I I know what it is. At least I did. Have you change addresses? She no. We broke up, but the car she has was registered to her address. Yeah, but I mean. Uh, to her address where you yeah, were staying. Yeah, it was registered, yeah. Okay. So she's probably getting this stuff, and they never we don't talk, so she ain't never told me about it. Okay. It's your taser and your uh, firearms on the front seat. Okay. So I unloaded it for you. It's just for officer safety. That's what we do. Uh, I but I, I'm... I'm good to put it back on when we're going, or? Yeah, no, I don't want, yeah, when, once you get in the vehicle, I mean, get inside the vehicle and pull away before you load What's it back up. And, front seat? Yeah, you it's might, on the front seat. You might put it in the glove box. You should have disarmed you to begin with. Okay. Or in the back. Yeah, yeah. Are these paint rounds, or what are these? Oh, never mind. Never mind, you good. You good, you good. Oh, wait, that's you? Oh. When you come Dude. Out, you come <laughs> Dude, cop's an idiot. Right, you Damn, this video is super long, ain't it? <laughs> Boys in blue, the biggest gang in the world. I should get them on criminal criminal enterprise. You know what I mean? And then drive this one. All right. What's that in your pocket? It's your cuff key and round. Yeah, I'm a blue 
one. You guys out of Longwood, right? Sure. Where in Longwood? You know where the McDonald's is? On 434? Yeah. Right behind there. You know the, the Dollar Tree? The Dollar Tree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Immediately behind there. All right, man, I'm going to end this video now. Yeah, this dude should never talk to the cops. Don't talk to the police. Plead the fifth or whatever. Uh, and because I guarantee they would not not been able to get you on anything if you would just say, I, I, I'd prefer not to talk to you. Yeah. Some people, though, just don't know, do they? All right, man, tell me what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Until next time, peace out. Hey, guys, if you really like these clips, give me a, a like, a share, and a follow on YouTube. All right, man? Peace.